my name is Trang. This is Dan Kelly, and you're watching D-Link TV. Today we're going to be talking about the DAP 1522, and Dan's going to be answering some questions that we have. Dan, so what, is the, what does this product do? What is it for, and what are the main features? Well, the DAP 1522, or the DAP 1522, is what we refer to as a wireless bridge. So there's more and more connected devices like a, a gaming console such as Xbox or PS3 or maybe even the Nintendo Wii, more and more devices that are what we'll call network ready or wanting to get onto the internet. Um, and so a box like this, basically it's a bridge, uh, and as the name implies, it creates a bridge, a Wi-Fi bridge from the router in your home um, to the entertainment system. So say you have three or four devices at your home entertainment system, say it's maybe a DVR, maybe it's a, a gaming console, or maybe even a media player, you connect them hardwired into this box and it creates a wireless bridge to your router. So then all of those uh, devices at your home entertainment system can then share the internet and basically be an extension of your of your home network. Okay, so what what would customers usually purchase this for their environment? What would it be best for? Well, probably one of the most popular applications is gaming. So. Um, everybody knows that gaming is always going to be wildly popular, but what's very popular nowadays is online gaming. Uh, it started really with the PC to where uh, the internet and especially broadband adoption has really exploded the gaming industry to where now you're going into these online environments and basically interacting with you know hundreds, thousands, maybe millions of other people that have their own virtual gaming persona online. Uh, gaming consoles such as the Xbox, the you know PlayStation 3, the Nintendo Wii, those two are now going online. So if you are, say, at your couch and your you know, your favorite gaming console does have an online feature, this is a great way to get that gaming console onto the internet. So you're basically plugging it hardwired into the into the bridge that then connects to your router, and then you have a, a nice strong Wi-Fi signal that's going out to the broadband high-speed internet for that gaming console. Okay. Is there anything else that you want to tell customers about this? Well, sure. Um, when you're creating that Wi-Fi bridge, one of the key features here is it actually has selectable um, settings on the back. So you can select it, as we've been talking about, as a bridge. Uh, but there's also this AP setting. So um, say you want to create a bridge, and this actually uses two technologies inside of it, um, basically 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. It sounds a little bit technical, but they're basically two different radio bands. So your cordless phone, some microwaves, and other products operate on that 2.4 gigahertz uh, spectrum, which can get crowded. And when you're trying to create a Wi-Fi bridge, you want that nice cleaner environment of the cleaner band, which is the 5 gigahertz band. So if your router is a dual band router, such as our new DIR825, then you're already running both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And then this would tap into whichever one, but you'd most likely use that cleaner 5 gigahertz. But because it has this AP setting, say you have an older router, or you don't want to upgrade to a dual band router, you can actually put two of these bridges, uh, one that hardwires directly into the back of the router, and then you place another one, say at your home entertainment system. So the two DAP 1522s will actually communicate and create that Wi-Fi bridge with an existing router so you don't have to upgrade your router. Oh, okay, well, thank you, Dan. Sure. Uh, if you want any more information about this product or any other products, just go to dlink.com. I'm Trang, and thank you for watching D-Link TV. Thank <laughs> you.